We'll start with Mustard R30, size 10 dry fly hook. We've got some sheer 40 naught tan or grey. We'll just attach our tying thread there and we'll go a wee ways back, remove that. We have a light olive CDC hackle. Catch that in with a couple of turns and we'll pull it through and then we'll go over the end to about there and go back forward. Put a hackle plier on the CDC hackle and we'll twist that up. This is the egg case of the caddis. Pull the fibres together so before we get a little bit more volume. I just build that up a little bit and then we go forward. We can go back with our thread to there and then we'll tie that off. Remove that. I can trim off all these on the egg case. There we are. Let me just go over the end of that. And we need a large dark olive CDC hackle. We'll pull that through and again tie that off and go forward. Then we put our hackle plier on that again. Exactly the same procedure to form the body. Catch the fibres together, twist them up. Wrap forward as we go. forward to just where we're going to tie in the wing. That's perfect. Swap those around. Secure that hackle. Turn our vice that way so I don't cut my tying thread. Remove that. Good, then we can turn it this way and we want to remove all those on the underside so it just sits a little deeper in the surface and we can pull all that back on top and trim it off there, don't need that. Then we need a, this is a wood duck flank. You can use most waterfowl flanks for this. They work all, all work well. So we want to strip the fluff off. We want to cut that off there. And if you've not done this type of wing before, I suggest you start with mallard flank because it's the easiest to work with and it's the cheapest. But I like the colour of this. And I've done these a few times. So. And we pull everything back like that. We wet the end. I've got a tube from a resin bottle that I've opened the end up so it's a larger diameter. We put that in there, like so, and we pull it through. I'll just have to reposition that one. 
put it in, pull it through to form the wing. So then we need a little bit of wax on our thread before we tie the wing in. This just gives everything a little more purchase. So we just go there like that. We take our wing and just measure it in. Make a couple of just securing turns just to see that it's all in position. That's good. And then we can tighten up. We can remove that tube. That's good. Now we can lift this up, remove all that, excellent, then we can turn it this way, trim the wing down, Right, there we are, that's good. Then spin our thread anti clockwise so we can split it. I've loaded the micro petit jean clip with natural beige CDC. Just put that in there. And I'll pull out the very longest ones. There we go, that'll do us. Spin that up. And we've got around here. Pull it all back. Our whip finisher. Couple of whip finishes. Remove our tying thread. Turn it upside down. From where the hackle on the underside, and that's it. That's the finished egg laying caddis. If you enjoy the videos, please like, share, subscribe, and if you like, you can visit my webpage, which is thefeatherbender.com. Thanks for watching.